All right, we live at the poker room, and today I guess it's Abu Zulu. Mm -hmm. What the Billy said. Now, Abu, we understand you working with Upmost Music. Break down what is Upmost and what it means and what y'all got planned on coming into the game with the music. Basically, Upmost Music is it's, it's a business that my managers pretty much started. You know, Jamarcus Smith, Sean Taylor, they, uh... Shout out Jamarcus. You know, yeah, big shout out to them. You know, they, uh... They're very sure, into sure. music or whatnot, you know, and they actually, they just, I ran across them one day, they took a liking into my music and they just, they wanted to manage me. So they started up this managing company pretty much, which is to soon be a label pretty much if it's not already a label. Right. Like, oh, they got an LLC or whatnot. Right. They just started calling it utmost music. Pretty much it started off as management, but it's pretty much incorporated and it's ran like a label. I actually ran the label. No. I happen to, mm -hmm. you know, understand that you're not really from the United States. Mm -hmm. Like, let me know, like, let the people your fans know, like, originally where you're from and your upbringing. I'm originally from Mali, West Africa, bro. Mali, mm -hmm. West Africa. I'm, uh, I moved out here. I moved to the United States in 1999. And then my dad actually got a job out here in Appaloosa. You know, so we ended up moving to Appaloosa, and uh, that's just how everything happened. What would you rather, New York or <clears throat> out here? Man, I grew up out there, man, so it's like, you know, Louisiana. Yeah, yeah. Louisiana really made me the person I am today, so it's like I can't just be like, I'd rather live in New York because I spent so much more of my life in Louisiana out here. You know, so I'd rather, I really take, I rep for Louisiana just as much as I do back home in Africa, you know what I'm saying? So, the reason why I asked that, because you know, <clears throat> you have a Louisiana lingo, but you can tell, you know, you have a universal sound, you know, it's international, it's not cap, it's not a local sound. You right, know? it's very crossover. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Commercial wise. What's your, what, what made you get into music? Man, honestly, I just, I always liked music since I was young, man. I liked it. I listened to a lot of Bob Marley when I was young, a lot of Temptations, David Ruffin. So that's some of your influences coming up? Yeah, I see. Probably Bob Marley, my favorite musician of all time. If it has anything to do with music, Bob Marley's my favorite. You know, Tupac, Tupac and Lil Wayne, probably my two favorite rappers. You know, but Bob Marley pretty much over everything. Yeah, that's good. Bob Marley in my top 10 too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, Not just for the weed smoke people. Yeah, Not just yeah. for the weed smoke. Nah, like, nah, they got a real message in this music, man. You really got to pay attention to what I'm saying. Everything that's happening today, he told you this was gonna happen. You know what I'm saying? Very, like predicted, right? right. Foreseen it. Right. So, like I said, David Ruffin, you know, it's one of my all-time favorites. You know? yeah. When we was looking at the project, what's your favorite song on the project? Ah, uh, my favorite song. I like, I like the jungle, man. I, I like, I like the jungle and the actual problematic song. You now, what made you call it problematic? When I was, when I first thought of, when I was first writing the song, it's kind of like, all right, I'm, well, well, my brother that passed away, he told me, he told me one day, in these specific words, like, boy, you're about to be a problem, and you don't even know it yet. Right. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Before he passed away, that's, that's pretty much something that he told me, and it, it stuck with me. Right. And you know, I got that tattooed on me. Yeah, you know, yeah, for yeah. somewhat the same yeah. reasons, you know. Yeah. I got a problem that can't be solved, you know. Cause he like, you know, when my brother first heard me rap, he like, he kind of like, man, I didn't know you could, I didn't know you could rap like that. You see, at the time when they were telling everybody telling me I could rap, I was like, 17, 18, man, which I wasn't really serious about it. Which I knew I could rap, I could put words together and everything, but it's just everybody was telling me I could rap. I just kind of thought they was just telling me that, you know. Right. But now it's like it's more serious. You, you need know? to showcase it, right, 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 exactly. <clears throat> you gotta show it real, you know, problematic. You know, it's definitely on, it's a lifestyle. You know, it's definitely a lifestyle. You know, yeah, you, you know, you got problems that can't be solved. You just gotta let it go. Yeah, Fuck yeah. it, don't worry about it. It can't be solved. Just let the problem go. Problematic. Yeah, but uh, we uh we know you work with Matt. What other artists um or producers or anything you know you working with down the line or who your favorite to work with <clears throat> things of that nature. You know uh. Yeah, Mac is another artist that you know, uh, utmost managed. Yeah. Right, shout out to Mac. Shout out, yeah, Mac. shout out, Mac. He got a project dropping called. Uh, got that single, Running Man. Y'all ain't heard it. Man, yeah. Fuck with it.